Just at midday, let's speak to Fran Boyd, co-director of Positive Money, a group which campaigns for money and banking systems that they say enables a fair, sustainable and democratic economy. Uh, uh, Fran, good to talk to you today. What do you hope the Bank of England will do today? Well, we've been saying for a long time that these interest rates, interest rate hikes are wrong and today's announcement will you know, likely be another hike and, and yet Can again, I get the fold uh, back up? show how out of touch the Bank of England governor and other policy chiefs are with the economic challenges of the day. High interest rates will not address the main drivers uh, of inflation, as we can see, because that inflation hasn't really come down in the last 18 months since the bank started making those hikes. So, and what it will do is, is deepen the cost of living crisis through rent and mortgage increases, and at the same time expand bank profit margins. So, so we think it's time for a big policy rethink. The government, though, cannot influence the bank, can it? So what, what do you think the government should be doing here? I mean, the bank can also uh, look to, to change tack. And we have seen previously the governor, Andrew Bailey, saying that interest rate hikes will do little to bring down uh, inflation driven by high fossil fuel prices. Uh, and now we're seeing additionally those high food prices caused by climate change and ecological stress. You know, these are system level challenges, uh, what we call fossilflation and climate inflation, and they aren't going away anytime soon. Um, so, you know, interest rate hikes will do none of those things. The ONS shows that three quarters of inflation is driven by energy prices and, and sectors involved with high energy intensities. And we're seeing more and more data uh, this summer with heat waves of the uh, of the way that climate change is having effect on climate, um, on food prices. So it really is time for a serious rethink. Uh, the Bank of England should be resisting calls from the city to hike interest rate um, hikes even even higher, which, you know, as I've said, will only benefit the big banks and their profit margins. Uh, Lorman Amont, who is Chancellor at a time of spiralling inflation, has said that actually what we may need, and it's a, it's, it's, it's a hard thing to stomach, is a recession. What do you think about that? I mean, this is a really problematic idea that the way to tackle inflation is to push millions of people into poverty and out of work. It's completely unnecessary. And as I said, will do nothing for the main drivers of inflation, which are fossil fuels and, and food prices caused by climate change and ecological stress. We're in different times. These are system level challenges. And unfortunately, what we're seeing is economic policy that just isn't catching up. Um, and until we see a more uh, intelligent approach by not just the Bank of England, but the Treasury and a wider economic strategy, then we're going to continue to see the devastating effects these interest rate hikes are having on households. The Labour Party say that, you know, their, their way of tackling it is, is through helping people directly with their bills, uh, which would be funded through windfall tax. But th does that have any real impact on inflation? I think that that's right. We should be supporting people through the cost of living crisis, through windfall tax, not just on the oil and gas companies, but also banks. We can see banks are, are making huge profits from these increases in interest rates for doing nothing. Um, so there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to levy a high windfall tax on banks right now in order to support people who are struggling the most in this uh, cost of living crisis. And at the same time, we need to be planning for the future. As I said, Fossilflation, climateflation, two key drivers of the current inflation are not going away anytime soon. So what we need there is a longer term economic strategy that actually looks to shift us away from fossil fuels onto green renewable energy, transition the economy um, and you know, support the same transition globally because these are global challenges. Fran Boyce, uh, co-director of the campaign group Positive Money. Good to talk to you. Thank you.